we are going to discuss the simplest strategy to solve equations involving absolute value functions on both sides of equality. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, I am going to share with you a unique strategy to solve equations involving absolute value functions on both sides of inequality. Well, those of you who want to learn directly from me, feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Now, the strategy which I am discussing saves a lot of time in solving such equations. In many competitive exams, time is a key issue. Let us see how do we solve these equations and master a new strategy. I'll begin with the first question, which is absolute value of 3 minus 2x equals to absolute value of 4 minus x. Normally, absolute value equations should be treated as piecewise functions and solved in four different intervals when you have two of them involved as in this particular case. However, the strategy here is that absolute value of negative number is positive. So we are looking for two positive numbers on either side. So we could actually solve this equation as 3 minus 2x equals to 4 minus x and also 3 minus 2x as equal to negative of 4 minus x. Both will give us the required solutions. So let's begin now. It's very simple, right? So we can write 3 equals 3 minus 4, bringing 4 to the left side, minus 2x to the right side, 2x minus x, and that gives me minus 1 equal to x. So that becomes one of the solutions. Do you see how simple it was, right? Important is always to verify and check. Perfect. Let's find the solution from the second part, which is 3 minus 2x equals to minus 4 plus x. Taking minus 2x to the right side gives me 3 and 4 to this side plus 4 equals to 2x plus x. And that gives you 7 equals to 3x or 7 over 3 as equal to x. So we get the second solution for this. You see, so fast we could answer it. And therefore, the solution for this is what? x equals to minus 1 or 7 over 3. Makes sense. Now once you've done this, try the next one which is absolute value of x minus 2 equals to absolute value of 2x minus 1, right? Pause the video, try, and then check with my solution. Once you get the solution, it is very important to check your answer also, right? So applying the strategy just learn, we'll solve first for the equation x minus 2 equals to 2x minus 1 and then we'll solve for the second equation which is x minus 2 equals to negative of 2x minus 1 because negative of 2x minus 1 absolute value will also be 2x minus 1 makes sense right perfect so the first equation bringing x's together and we have got x minus 2x equals to 2 minus 1 minus x equals to 1 or x equals to minus 1. Perfect. For the second equation, we have x and minus 2. When it comes on this side, becomes plus 2x equals to taking this 2 on the right side, opening this bracket plus 1. So 3x equals to 3, x is equals to 1. Correct. So we have a solution and clearly the solution is x is equal to minus 1 or plus 1, right? 
Now, if I substitute minus 1, we get both the equations as correct, right? So, minus 1 gives us minus 3. And plus 1 will give us 1, right? So, minus 1 gives us minus 3. If I put x equals to minus 1, so we get minus 3 absolute value, which is 3, right? Here also, we have absolute value of minus 3, right? So, it is the correct answer. Similarly, if I put 1 here, so if I put x equals to 1, let me just change the ink here, squeeze it in. Then also we have minus 1, right, which is 1. And 2 minus 1 is absolute value of 1, which is also 1. So both sides are equal. Do you see that? So just by equating plus or minus for one of them helps us to solve it very, very fast. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.